morning to you. Good morning. Is Coop gonna take you outside? You guys, it's a Christmas miracle. I could cry. He's walking. Like I can tell there's still a little bit of a limp, but he's walking so much better. Okay, well, chill, dude, chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> oh my goodness, and there's snow. Okay, I'm gonna cry. I can feel it bubbling. <gasps> And yes, my Canadian son in flip-flops. Oh, Cooper, there's snow! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You guys, oh, it feels like snow too. Oh, this is so exciting. What does Jasper think? Oh my goodness, he's probably freaking out and that's B. <laughs> Happy Monday. <laughs> I can feel like, like happiness. What is the word I was thinking? Glee. And then I was thinking glitter, but that's not it. Oh my goodness. Jasper's walking so much better right now. So much better. And there's snow. Like, I'm freaking out. I can't wait for Winnie to wake up and see it. Oh, you did find him. I hit him good today. Oh, Jasper, get down, you silly. I don't want you to hurt yourself. What do you think? Did you see something new in there? Water bottles. Mmm. We're gonna let Winnie pick first this time. Because yep. last time with the blankets, she let the boys pick first. And then that was her cranky day. So of course, later on in the day, that became a problem. <laughs> it's okay, Coop. Pretty cute, huh? <laughs> this is for Curtis to see. He's crying at the door wanting to go down to our room, but there's no one down there, buddy. Daddy's at work. I know, it's a sad day. You wanna show him you're feeling better, huh? Oh, poor thing. Poor thing. You see him? Come see, what did he bring you today? Come see, open it up. <laughs> Huggy, good morning. I love you. Paul. Sheppy. What did he bring? It's gonna fall. <laughs> no, he won't fall. He's all right. This one's gonna fall. <laughs> you tip your whole body over. Do you need help, dear? I'm good. That's not enough. No. no. I'll help you. Good morning. Good morning. You know where it is. You, you are know. incorrect. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, new cups. Yeah. You want to get them down? Everybody can pick, but when he gets picked first. Yeah. We don't need a replay. Oh. Mommy's got to wash them first. So let me wash it, and then I'll get you a water ready for this morning. Let's go. You can't bring it to school because it'll leak, okay? But it'll be waiting for you when you get home. So Winnie picked that one. Last pick. Let's go. Yeah, I know, but that's the one that, look at this. It, I mean, it's green, so. It's green, well, that's true. That's your favorite color. Yeah. But look at the back of it. Look at all the candy canes. Like that is a design for the ages. I love it. <laughs> and Cooper picked? Blue. Blue, oh yeah. I didn't even notice it was blue, yeah. no. <laughs> I just I thought you were going for the truck. I just said I know what the order is. Oh, let me see. What? The color? No, it's the pictures. Cute. No in the truck. Yeah, hope it doesn't get too warm. Oh, you guys, I'm embarrassed about how messy my house is right now. <sighs> Sorry. Um, what is what is the saying? Don't worry, be happy. That's funny. No, actually, Cooper cleaned downstairs, so it's not messy at all. Um, the saying is, please excuse the mess. We're making memories, right? Is that what we say? <laughs> Cooper's like, we never say that. Um, my excuse is I spent the weekend getting ready for Christmas. But to some of you, that excuse might be lame because I've been getting ready for Christmas for months. But this weekend, I really 
I got ready more. I did. And today is a day that I am going to fix what's happening in this house. And yes, I left the Christmas lights on all night because it was raining when I went to bed. And I was like, Psh, I'm not going outside. <laughs> Do you see it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Snowed just a little bit. But it's still snowing. You might have to wear... Um, oh, Jasper's using the bathroom. <laughs> no, for coming back. Yeah, it's still snowing. Uh -huh. You might have to wear ski pants today. That's what I was trying to say before I saw Jasper doing number two. Look, okay, so Winnie School has... They're having, for the next two weeks, they're doing school spirit days. And every day has a different theme. Today is school colors, which are blue and white. Cute, huh? It's still, yeah. it's Mom not seven in the morning cute. yet. Oh, you're cute. cute. Mm. You have some blue in yeah. some Yes, I do. All right. I haven't made <gasps> lunches. Haven't had coffee. Haven't taken my medication. And I'm not going to talk about how much sleep I got last night. I will not complain about how much sleep I got last night. A hot chocolate, maybe later. <sighs> I'm not gonna tell you how much sleep I got last night because then that would be complaining. I have coffee and I am blessed. My dog is a miracle, a walking miracle right now. Woo! <laughs> All right, we gotta go to school. See you later, Jesse. We love you. He's laying on my coat, so I'm grateful that I have multiple coats because I don't want to make him move. Mommy, I'll get the door. She's got her full Canadian winter gear on. Oh, and I still have flip-flops on, so I should change. <laughs> my bad. Now I'll wear my slippers that double as real shoes. I like it, dog. <laughs> my daughter, you guys. Tucked in. Cooper, do you have a mask? Cooper came out to start the Jeep for me and I put this in here last night that I bought at Wheaton's. Oh my goodness, you guys, it smells like Christmas. It's pine scented. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's almost lunchtime. I have been spending the entire morning being productive, cleaning, laundry, replying to comments, um, all the things. I've been very productive and I'm not going to complain about how much sleep I got last night. I'm not even going to talk about it, but I'm just going to say I'm getting to the point of the day where um, I could use a little pick-me-up. Um, I actually had um, someone in my comments, it was Liz, um, she asked about what do I wear on my face? Why, you know, my skin is not perfect, okay? <laughs> like, I break out, um, I have PCOS, so I think acne is just part of that. I am on the pill and it's not for birth control because we did the snipperoo there after when he was born. Um, but I do have like a very minimal makeup routine that I find works really good for me. Now I find everybody's their own, like everybody's skin's different, right? So you can't really totally follow somebody else's routine. You really have to find what works for you. And I'm in between mascaras at the moment. So um, <laughs> I'm breaking up with my old mascara and I'm trying to find a new one. So basically you can do whatever you want to do, of course, but I'm just going to show you what I do when I want to help my face a little bit. So we start moisturizer, always moisturizer. Um, and I do have kind of oily skin and you guys know I tend to glisten a lot. <laughs> Somebody told me that in the comments. It's not sweat, you're glistening. So, okay, yes, I am glistening. Um, so, cream, a little bit of lotion. Um, next, I think for me, this works so good. Um, this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer, and it's the, uh, it's also a moisturizer, and it's, what is it called? First Aid Beauty, it's from Sephora. It smells delicious. Oh, I love this stuff. It's almost like, I don't even know if it's supposed to smell like that. Like it just, well, it's supposed to smell like that, but I don't know if it's like a feature, like, oh, well, it says coconut. I don't know. It doesn't smell like coconut to me. It reminds me of childhood medicine. So, <laughs> so I do that next. 
and it's good because especially in the winter I need all the moisturizer my skin peels so bad um this is just concealer I slapped some of this on I don't use a um a what is it called? I was gonna say protein wow <laughs> I don't use the foundation um I find it just doesn't look good on me and it doesn't matter I'm looking in the mirror too because it's really hard to look in here it doesn't matter what kind of I've tried like BB cream, CC creams, all the stuff. I find honestly, just slap on some concealer. That's what I do. And this is not my favorite concealer, but I bought it a while ago and I'm using it. And uh, I do prefer like this kind of concealer to a stick concealer because I find the stick conceal concealers, <laughs> concealers are very drying. So I actually think, this right here is a must, a good brush. I'm not a makeup guru, guys. <laughs> not even a little bit. A good, I think this is a foundation brush, brush or concealer brush. It's the Stila. It was way too expensive, but um, I've been using it for over a year. I wash it all the time, but it just, it feels good. And it's easier that I used to use my hands to rub stuff in and it never worked as good so i'm trying to see how long this is actually taking me hopefully i talked for a little while before so anyways i told my friend in the comments i was like oh my makeup routine's under five minutes no big deal so now i'm like i have to actually prove that it is but it's hard to talk and put it on at the same time i always make sure to get like in here too because i have so much darkness all around here um i don't always wear um what's it called eyeshadow but I like to just wear a little bit um because I find again I'm so dark in that area that it just really helps that now this is the best if you're going for a natural look I love Too Faced and this I think there's a theme guys I love coconut I really do and this oh smells so amazing so normally I just do a little pop, 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 pop. You know what I mean? I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, there are certain days where, I mean, I can take a lot longer to put makeup on and try a lot harder, but I don't always find out, or I don't always find that actually trying harder makes it any better. Or like sometimes I put too much on that I'm like, I'm looking like I'm trying too hard, you know? I always do, you can tell I'm hitting pan here a little bit. Um, I always do a little bit of white just to blend because I find that looks more natural. Anyways, I try not to stress about it too much. Um, oh, and I almost forgot. This is my very favorite. I've talked about this a lot, actually. This is the Glow Starter. It's from, what is it called that it's from? I know what it is. It's the Face Mask People Glam Glow. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with this. I've been using this for years now. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but the the coconut smoothie primer adds a little bit of illumination, but I find this right here is the ticket and it makes me look moist. <laughs> it just makes my skin look so much better and less dry, you know? Like it's got that dewy look about it. It is expensive, so I mean, maybe there's a dupe for that or something similar. Anyways, so that's on. Now I normally wash my hands because See how shiny my hands get? So, and I don't want that on everything, you know? Um, and I also don't put this on my nose because that would, you don't need shine there. <laughs> oh, I do know some people put highlighter right here. And then when you watch a YouTube video and someone's wearing highlighter on their nose, it reminds me of Rudolph. Straight up. I don't like it. So this is gonna be hard to do. Anyways, like I said, I'm between mascaras. This is my eyelash primer, which I find works really good. I've re-bought I've re this a lot of times. This is the Smashbox primer, and it all started when they sent me home with a tester, and now I have to buy it all the time. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, so I tried these two mascaras yesterday that I bought at the Dollarama, Revlon and Wet n Wild. And surprisingly, 
I think I like the wet and wild a little bit more. And let me show you how crappy the brush is. Look at that. That's really like, <laughs> it's not a great brush, but honestly, my eyes are so sensitive right now. I think my eyes just got used to the, uh, it was the Colossal by Maybelline that I had been using for years. <sighs> I'm getting out of breath because I'm talking so fast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And I have to go make lunch and I don't like making lunch. And I realized this morning when I woke up, it's like, no wonder I was so stressed last night. I made three meals. <laughs> Why did I make myself or my family a great big breakfast, a big lunch and a big supper? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so uh, this is only my second time applying this. And this was like, I think 350. So really getting that lash look for 350, I think that's pretty good. All right, it's gotta be around five minutes, right? <laughs> oh my land, why do I do this to myself? Anyways, I just think the most important look that you can get to make yourself look better is your skin and your face. And it's not about the little details for me, it's literally the skin because you can't really cover up bad skin. You can't. And that's why I use so much moisturizer. Moisturizer? That's why I use so much moisturizer. Because if you don't, you're going to look like your skin is peeling all the time. Now I grab some Q-tips. Hold on. And this is always a must for me. I go under my eyes like this just to clean up anywhere is where you screwed up. And also it cleans up if you didn't rub in your um, concealer enough. So it just cleans up any of the mess you made. I usually go up here too. Just anywhere that I see a little boop, you know? And then I also, with a new one, lick my lips. <laughs> I'm super fancy here, guys. And then clean off my lips because I don't normally wear lipstick because I just don't have time for that. I'm at home. Like, who am I trying to impress, you know? <laughs> and plus, Curtis hates lipstick, so he won't even kiss me if I'm wearing it. There you go. That's it. That's it. And look how much more awake I look now. So, I don't know how many minutes that took, but it wasn't 10. So, it was closer to 5, right? I think it was. Anyways, now I'm going to go cook supper and, sorry, lunch. <laughs> it's going to be a long day, guys. It's going to be a long day. But today, I've got so much cleaning done. I'm going to attack my bedroom after lunch and get my bedroom completely put back together as much as I can. Get it all cleaned up because Skylar has school tomorrow. So I will have no, none of my kids will be here. I actually don't even know if I have my extra kids tomorrow um, because their dad is off work this week. So it might be a different kind of week for me. But my plan is I'm wrapping Christmas presents tomorrow. So to get to do that, because I love wrapping Christmas presents, I am making it a reward <laughs> for myself after I clean up my bedroom as best as I can. I know I can't fix it because it is the season. But I'm going to clean today and wrap tomorrow and sleep tonight. I said I wasn't going to complain and I just keep talking about it. So I think sleep greatly affects us in our day and it greatly affects me. But I got to stop. I got to stop. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go make some lunch. Yay. Cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to cook for me? Come over and cook for me. Come on. You're welcome. All right, so we ate lunch. I cleaned up from lunch. I started cleaning downstairs in my bedroom, but I didn't finish, and I accidentally fell asleep for a minute. <laughs> it was an accident. Um, so, oh, Winnie's having her chocolate because we forgot to this morning. Let me see. Whoa, that was a good push over. Oh, it is a little reindeer. Cute. So I'm going to have a little afternoon pick-me-up taste test. I found these at Walmart when I was shopping. Was it yesterday that I went shopping? Do you want to try one, Cooper? 
We've never even tried like the normal cookies. Or are they called Viva Puffs? I don't know. They look like a wagon wheel to me. I mean, I like what I see. <laughs> uh, let's see if this is, and I'm not gonna eat the whole box. I just wanna try a little bit. Looks good. Hmm. I like it. This is like a marshmallow. It's like a wagon wheel. The same thing, only it's a cookie. And look how pretty it is. Yeah. Oh! The 17 has a cupcake in it. Mmm. Mm. You're not supposed to be opening 17. She's opened so many doors to Sorry. peek at them. Sorry. But I um, The Oreos are better than this. So if you only wanted to try one mint chocolate cookie... I don't even think I'm gonna finish that one. It's not bad. It's just, if I'm gonna have a cookie, I'm gonna have like a really good cookie. That was fun to try. Oui, tu peux avoir les ciseaux. Prendre les ciseaux. All right. I think I might have a little Diet Coke, perhaps. Oh, there's Cooper. Ooh. Do you wanna try it? Why not? It's like a mint Oreo, except for it's what got marshmallow. That? I don't know, mint, jelly. red. There's no jelly. All you taste is mint Oreo. He's gonna do it, folks. He's gonna try it. Oh. Why did you eat it like that? Why are you staring at yourself? <laughs> Where are you going? He's spitting. Where are you going? <laughs> He's picky. I like these better. Mm -hmm. These are the mint Oreos. And you know what? They go really good with pretzels. I like normally. I had them the other day. You eat like a little piece and you eat a couple pretzels and it's like the perfect sweet and salty. Like I said before. I don't know why I have a weight problem. <laughs> All right. I need to get this day going. Well, or this afternoon. The day's been here for a while. Winnie, be careful with those scissors. She's cutting in towards her body. Be careful, honey. Dangerous. I should go supervise. Look at the staircase, guys. I definitely was cleaning. <laughs> I am not done down here. This corner is just kind of a wreck right now. Yeah, and I'm not done. But, I mean, it looks so much better <sighs> and less cluttered. Even over here, it's less cluttered. Who else wears house flip-flops? I do. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. I <laughs> have to get a Coke. I normally drink an afternoon tea. But something about Christmas makes me want to drink Coke. I really don't know why. I go through these like spurts where I won't drink any pop at all for like years. And then I start drinking it again. And I never have more than one a day ever. I usually don't even finish one can. Normally Curtis and I share or he'll finish mine. <laughs> he'll still get his own, but he doesn't drink coffee. You guys, I drink so much coffee today. When I make a pot of coffee, I um, make 10 to like, it's a little bit over the 10 line. So it's like between 10 and 12 cups of coffee, like in the pot. It almost fills the pot. And I almost drank the entire thing today. <laughs> so really, I should be drinking water right now. But I, yeah, because yeah. I normally drink enough water. I definitely haven't today. So I'll drink some water after. I just need to first. I wanted to show you guys what I got while I was shopping. 
I can't show you all the stuff that I got for Curtis for his stocking. Um, remember, I went shopping yesterday. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I found some really good stuff for Curtis. I, we have a $100 limit, and I spent about $60. So I still have some money left. And the lucky thing for this gift giver right here is Curtis's birthday is December 22nd. So if there's something that I find for Christmas that I can't afford in my hundred dollar budget for him, um, I just buy it for his birthday because <laughs> he can't tell me what to do for his birthday. That's my call. So anyways, I haven't found anything too big to give to him yet, but, um, he's, I already thrifted a few things. So I think he's going to be happy with that because I found some really good stuff and, um, man, like to get name brands for, you know, $4, some of the, I, w I don't want to say too much because he definitely is going to watch the vlog. He is my biggest fan. He really is. And I love that. <sighs> I mean, he should be my biggest fan because it's funny. He actually listens to the vlogs better than he listens to me. <laughs> So <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay. So the first store that I went to, you guys, I am so excited. Giant Tiger, $10. I can't believe what <laughs> it's so huge. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah, I know. But it's like, <laughs> it is the size of my arm. You guys, are you kidding? I'm like, I am pumped to give this to my dog. And when I came home last night, I really wanted to give it to him last night. But I know waiting for Christmas Day will be perfect for this. And to be honest, he probably won't be spending the entire Christmas Day with us. We will probably put him in Skylar and Cooper's bedroom if he can't chill. Because he is a biter, <laughs> a shit disturber. Um, he jumps up on everybody. My parents don't care at all. My parents are like me when it comes to dogs. They adore him. Um, my dad actually, I didn't film it, but my dad actually came over yesterday afternoon just for a minute. I know we were still in the orange, but, um, he just came over. He stayed in the entryway like my mother did, but he had to soak on his boy too. So my parents don't mind getting jumped all over, but, um, hallelujah, praise the Lord. We're in yellow. So hopefully, um, my Grammy will come as well. She normally does come on Christmas day and she's in her eighties and she, she could not get jumped up on like just simply her body. <laughs> it would not be good for Grammy G. No, it wouldn't. Um, and also Curtis's parents don't really like, they like dogs, but they also kind of don't. So you can just tell they really don't like to be jumped up on at all. Like my mother, she would like, if Jasper jumps up to her, like he does to me, she's like, oh yeah, I don't have to bend down to say hi to you. You know, but if it happens to Curtis's mom that she's like, you know, it's, it kind of sucks, but I understand like they had a very tiny little play pretend dog. <laughs> she wasn't actually pretend, but, um, and they were only, like, the dog was only allowed to be on the kitchen floor. Like, she couldn't go on the couch. She couldn't go anywhere where there was, where there was carpet. Which is not, <laughs> which is not our style at all because Jasper, well, actually, we don't normally let Jasper go downstairs. But that is only because he chews everything and there are way too many toys in that playroom. When we first got him, he was allowed down there. We also found a few uh, chocolate cupcakes that he left down there. So I'm sure he'll be allowed to be down there when he gets a little bit bigger and smarter. <laughs> um, I grabbed these stickers, $1.25, and I'm kind of kicking myself now. I feel like I should have got a couple more because this would have been great in a few treat bags that I'm making up for some friends. Um, they're adorable. Like little, and they were only $1.25. I haven't seen these at Dollarama. Giant Tiger had them, so that's fun. Um, and then, okay, the purpose of all of these things that I bought for the kids 
is for the game day that we're going to have. Now, when um, we were like first in quarantine, when this whole thing started, um, what I did multiple times, I wasn't vlogging them because I was on a mental health, tried to not freak out Miranda <laughs> kind of mental health journey. Um, but what I did was I went to Walmart many times <laughs> <laughs> and bought everything for my kids. I bought so much stuff and then we would plan like arcade days at home or game days at home and um or bingo was another one and they could win prize <laughs> sorry, they could win prizes. And um I spent a ton of money on that. I don't regret it for one second. It helped my kids to have fun. And my kids need fun. Every kid needs fun. Every kid deserves fun. So that's what this is going to be. It's going to be a little Sheppy inspired game day where we're going to play games. Whoever wins the games wins prizes. So I grabbed this. It's a jet ball, but like a big one. And that's Skylar's favorite team. Go Raps, go. Um, and I think this was $4.99. So a little bit more than I would typically pay, but who cares you know um what the heck oh it was just the ball it rolled off the table i'm sure you saw it that freaked me out i am scared of critters and we don't have any in the house we did when i was pregnant with winnie and i <sighs> panic level a thousand okay we took care of them and we had people come and they took care of them too and oh we're not going back there um all right so this is a micro mallow, which is Winnie's just, she loves these little things, you guys. I'm sure if any of you guys have little girls or little boys, they love the blind bags. They love to open things and see what they got. So she has a lot of these squish mallows, but I've never seen one of these mini mallows before. I kind of wanted to get a couple of them, maybe throw one in her stocking too, but my issue is duplicates. Winnie hates getting duplicates and when they're like this and they're the same series and you don't know um if you're gonna get different ones or the same ones she, it breaks her heart to get a duplicate so anyways one of these and then because i'm scared of duplicates i got her one of the other ones this was a surprise them all which was also i think four dollars um anyway she has a few of these but she doesn't have this color globe so i think globe ball whatever there's a stuffed animal inside I think inside both of these, this one might be more of like a squishy. All right, now for the exciting part. Um, <laughs> I um, found some really fun things at Walmart and I kind of forgot that I was supposed to buy for like Curtis and I too, because if we win, we should win a prize. But I'm thinking maybe I'll just get like, oh, I don't know, I might throw some like $5 bills in and... Um, what was I thinking? Uh, like pops and stuff, maybe alcohol beverages, alcohol beverages, alcoholic. <laughs> I just bought, um, some Baileys for the first time. I've never in my life had a coffee with Baileys, never. And I bought it for this Christmas and I'm so excited. And my sisters are going to have a coffee with me and we're going to be cheersing, cheersing to Santa and Jesus on Christmas morning. <laughs> Anyway, so I got to find a few more prizes so that Curtis and I can be included, but I did get some good stuff at Walmart. So these were on sale for only $4.99 at Walmart. And that's a pretty nice box, right? So that's good for a stocking or anything, but this will be for the prizes. Um, these are my very favorite. Does anyone recognize this guy? <laughs> I love it so much so cute and I got this guy and <laughs> Mario Kart Wii <laughs> it's so cool like my boys well so I probably was only thinking I definitely was only thinking about getting two one for each boy if they were to win a game but then I thought Winnie's gonna want one even though Winnie has lots of different ones I just don't like her feeling left out and because there's a big age difference it can be kind of difficult to include her it's difficult but these were like $11 but they're really squishy too 
And I know, I totally know that all three kids would love to grab one of these. Actually, Curtis would love to grab one of these. And so would I. So <laughs> they're really cute. They did have Mario on Luigi too, but I'm pretty sure we already have those stuffies and they weren't as cute as these ones are. And these ones are like squishy. I love them. So I grabbed three of those. Don't worry, you guys, you're going to come to the game day with us. So you will see who wins prizes. You will see who wins the games. And I still am thinking about playing old maid, but the person who ends up with the old maid wins. I think that's like a fantastic idea. Um, need I say more? <laughs> my favorite princess, they didn't have any Rapunzel's. I have a hair in my eyeball. Uh, um, so I grabbed this one, it was $6, I think. I've seen some people find, um, like Michelle from Chickens by the Lake, she found these um, like Santa Kinder Surprises. Like it was like a tall Santa with like a little Kinder Surprise on the side. I haven't found those anywhere. I don't know if they're down here on the East Coast at all, but <laughs> sorry, you guys, my eye really hurts right now. Um, if you guys have found them, tell me what store you got them from. Uh, maybe they're from Shoppers Drug Mart because I know Michelle shops there often. Hmm. I haven't gotten there Actually, yes, I did. The day that I got my tattoo done, I went there, but I was in so much pain. <laughs> my tattoo is looking great, by the way. It's looking absolutely flipping fantastic. And like, I'm going to finish it after Christmas. And I can't wait to see the color. I can't wait. It's going to look so good. And I'm going to take Advil before I go. <laughs> oh, man. I wish it didn't hurt so bad. I'm hoping that the coloring won't hurt as bad as the outline did because whew, that was painful. Okay, just a couple more things, you guys. Um, you guys probably know what these are if you have little boys. Like, my boys have had these before, but now Skylar's big into skateboarding. And um, remember, he just bought that $250 skateboard for himself. So I thought, these were only $3. I mean, and they're cool. We still have a bunch of them. Um, but I just thought, why not? You know? And then if like any prizes that are left over that they don't want, I will put in my prize bin for Winnie and, or any other birthday party my kids get invited to in the future. That's kind of like my go-to, oh crap, you're going to a birthday today. Okay. Let's grab some stuff, <laughs> you know? So I do like to keep some things on hand. Usually the boys just bring money, but sometimes it's nice to like give a $20 attached to one of these things, you know, cause then they can have something like a physical present as well as cash, which is what everyone loves. And yes, because then you can buy exactly what you want. So anyways, that's fun. And then my boys have never had these before. But I thought, I see them all the time. And I'm like, those are so cool. <laughs> so I got two of them. These were more expensive. These were $10, I think. Like almost 10 But they're little BMX trick bikes. <laughs> you take that off any sweet jumps? <laughs> you got air that time. Okay, that's Napoleon Dynamite. I freaking love that movie. Oh, okay, so I don't know what they're supposed to do with these, but they are the Tech Deck brand too. Um, I'm assuming that you use them with your fingers like you do a Tech Deck. Anyways, I'm hoping one of the boys picks one of these prizes because I kind of want to try it. <laughs> or maybe I, well, I don't know if I, yeah, maybe I would. Maybe, I don't know. I don't plan on winning. I plan on letting the kids win. I... I am that kind of woman. Actually, I say that, but I don't like losing against Curtis, but I actually get mad if Curtis beats Winnie, especially. The boys are used to like being fair, um, but Winnie's still at that age where she doesn't win every time. Don't think we're like that, but we are a little bit like that. <laughs> okay, I hear Winnie running over here. Here's the door. Yeah? Okay. So I only got a couple more things. I got one more of these. If you know who he is, then you're used to YouTube. Good old Ryan. Anyways, it's another mystery thing. Um, squishy. And then I have bought these before, actually. I got um, two of these for the boys for Easter. 
They are so cool, actually. <laughs> I just remember what the boys called them. They called him a boob. <laughs> hey, Mom, did you see my boob? <laughs> Um, it is the Incredible Giant Stress Ball, and Winnie wanted one after she saw that I got the boy some, even though Winnie, this is what I mean, you guys, it's so hard to keep it fair, because she got way more other little things like this, and the boys, buying them little things like this is usually wasted money, because they don't use it, so anyways, I thought, oh my goodness, the boys would love to squish this to death. And they did, but then of course, Winnie's like, how come I didn't get one of those? And she's sweet about it. She's not being like whiny. It's just, it's so hard to make it equal. Ugh. Anyways, so I'm glad I found one for her. And that is all the stuff so far. If you remember, I bought a bunch of socks at Giant Tiger. And I can't remember what else. Is that all that I bought? I really don't know. My <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere. And honestly, like we get to like Christmas Eve and I find random things around our bedroom that I just forgot to use, you know, or forgot to wrap, forgot to give to somebody. It's, I have the best intentions. I really do. But I think we're going to do Winnie's birthday really soon. I was just asking her who she wants to invite to her birthday party. I think we will try to plan. I'm going to talk to Curtis. Curtis is actually shopping for me in town right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk to him and we're going to check his work schedule. And because we're in yellow now, I would love to get her birthday party done and dusted right now so that she can feel happy and that she got to have her party in case we go back in orange but I kind of have the feeling that a lot of people are going to do the exact same thing so I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of birthdays coming up here in a little bit and I don't want Winnie's birthday to be at the same time as somebody else's birthday and then have nobody come to Winnie's birthday party because they're going to somebody else's or vice versa it's just oh it's not a good season for birthday parties am I right uh, if I could get away with not having one and have her be totally understanding and not disappointed, then I totally would do that. But she would not be understanding and she would be disappointed. So, <laughs> I mean, you only turn six once, right? And her birthday is December 23rd. And that is like right on the cusp of Christmas. If that makes sense to say, I really don't know. Um, but there's so much going on on that day. And actually, I think that's when our Christmas Eve church service is going to be. So there's already that. Um, I just want to make sure that she is treated right for her birthday and that she can have all the fun, even with COVID around here. You know, I just, I don't know. It's such a weird, weird, weird world right now. And yeah, I'm totally just um, procrastinating because I don't want to finish cleaning my room. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to cook supper. Yeah. <laughs> oh my land. I don't mind cooking, you guys. I really don't. When we have like time and food that's like planned out and easy to cook and stuff, but I don't have either of those things right now. I really don't. So, <laughs> oh man. I got to teach somebody else in this house to cook and I got to stop complaining. I'm sorry. I am grateful. I just, we're friends, right? So you're okay. Like girlfriends can complain to each other, right? <laughs> All right. I am going to go hang out with the kids for a little bit and make sure everybody's set up doing something. And then I will sneak back down here and try to finish cleaning. I didn't even make my bed this morning. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> This is what the kids are up to. Skylar's redoing math that he said he already did, but mysteriously can't find the work. And Jasper is totally fine. Trying to eat Cooper as always. What are you doing, Winnie? Watching Karina, one of her favorite channels on YouTube and waiting for her spaghetti. She likes hers with only butter, right? Yeah. Jasper. Let go of Cooper's elbow. <laughs>
it is just after six o'clock. My bonus children just went home and I just found out I got the next two days off, which is kind of fun, especially this close to Christmas. I made some spaghetti and grilled up some hamburger meat and some sauce and let's see. Yeah, these are done. Ooh, baby, that's hot. I made some croissants. Holy shnikes, I was burning my hand off. <laughs> and also, do you see that there's one missing right here? Chef eats first, guys. <laughs> you gotta taste test your food before you feed your family. It's just part of the rules. Curtis went shopping for me and he's downstairs in my room hiding the presents that he bought for me. I'm kind of excited. You coming over to say goodnight? Winnie and I are both wearing Christmas nighties. Yeah, we're both pretty soft, aren't we? Too soft. I'm like a teddy bear and you're like velour. Very soft. We're twins. Christmas twins. Are we Christmas twins? I'm Christmas and beach twins. Christmas and beach twins. Yes. All right. That's the end of the vlog, and pool. guys. <laughs> you spat in my face. And, and pool twins. <laughs> We're mermaids, aren't we? Do you remember our mermaid names? Um, your name is Shanina. Shanina. Pearl. Pearl. Yep. We made those names when we were camping in the summertime, huh? I'm gonna keep swimming. Yeah, swim, we'll swim, swim again. But not right now because there's snow outside. Bye bye. We love you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Love you. Have a good night. And I hope we all get some sleep tonight. <laughs> bye guys. Love bye you. Au revoir. Au revoir.